Today is probably the biggest and best day in Roblox history because so many updates were just released that everyone has been waiting for ages. They also brought back the Black Friday sale with a bang. Alright, before I get into all that and more, I'm just going to ask you to subscribe because for every 3 subs I get on this video I will pet my cat, and for every 10 likes on this video I will also pet my cat. Alright, but anyways, let's go and move on to the first story because it's absolutely tiny and nobody cares about it, but it's something I missed in my last video. I'm pretty sure because Roblox actually updated groups once again, this time with a very tiny update. Alright, because Bloxy News tweeted out this, Roblox is now rolling out additional permissions for roles within the groups on the Creator Hub. Groups are now the way to manage your collaborations across the Creator Hub and in Studio, whilst communities are the way to engage and grow in your community. So it seems like groups might still exist, and I just didn't realize that. But yeah, they include a screenshot here of just like a bunch of permissions you can give to people in groups, which is interesting. But yeah, I guess groups do still exist. I thought they were like completely gone and just replaced with communities, but I guess they exist in some way, shape, or form. It's weird, but now we can move on to stuff that's a lot more exciting. A lot more crazy such as Creekcraft leaking a new update. Uh, because, uh, he's dumb, basically, I saw Creekcraft tweet out, nobody saw nothing, and I obviously didn't see anything, because I do not watch Creekcraft, but I wanted to know what he was talking about, okay? So I went into the comments and I saw a bunch of people mentioning parties, apparently, he just leaked the party feature when he was showing off something on stream, I guess. Or in this screenshot, it might not look like anything crazy. You know, you can see that his play buttons are different colors on the website and in the app, not a big deal. But if you look at the sidebar in the Roblox app, you will notice a new button that says Party. Now, he didn't click into it or anything. I think he ended the stream and clip farmed after he saw that. But either way, the party feature is apparently getting rolled out slowly, but surely. And Creekcraft is one of the people that has it. So that's pretty interesting. Now, Roblox did say they were going to release the party feature like in this year. And we do only have a month left in the year, roughly. So uh, we should be seeing it very, very soon. Especially if, you know, people are beta testing it already, like Creekcraft and whatnot. And that's pretty exciting, dude, because parties have not been on Roblox for years upon years. I've told you this already many, many times. And it was a feature that was actually, like, insanely useful. Like, there was so many times, countless amounts of times, where me and my friends would just hop on Roblox, make, like, a little party thing. I don't know why, but it was just so much better than the system that currently exists, which the system that currently exists is just you joining your friends off of their profile, which isn't really that big of a deal. And I'm so excited that they're coming back in a more upgraded form as well, because if you don't know, the new party feature also will have like voice chat and stuff like that. It's literally kind of becoming like a Discord group chat, which is kind of interesting. And I, I, I'm scared to see how that's gonna turn out on Roblox, but Roblox has been upping their moderation and whatnot slightly over the past little while, and they have been adding a lot more rules. So, I, I hope it goes over well alright, but without further ado, we can now move on to the second story that I want to talk about that's pretty important. It's this that I saw on my front page where someone tweeted out what a joke with a picture of their account being completely deleted off Roblox. Now something I noticed in this screenshot is that this person was verified and their Twitter bio says that they are a best-selling UGC creator. So yeah, I guess this person is a very very popular UGC creator. They're even verified on Roblox because of it. And somehow, with all that in mind, they were still deleted for a false DMCA request. Now, I thought these DMCA requests like bans were all kind of over. I thought people stopped doing them because they kind of just stopped working as well, but it seems like someone has abused the DMCA system to get this person banned for uploading a troll face item. Now, the troll face is copyrighted and you're not supposed to be able to use troll faces and stuff, but if you go into the comments, you can see that this person replied to a comment with a screenshot of their DMCA email. It shows that they got DMCA from a random person, not the troll face creator. They got DMCA from a random person, which is not how it's supposed to work, because even if an item is copyrighted and isn't supposed to be used, it doesn't mean that someone who doesn't own the copyright can just take people down for it. That's illegal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, GG dude, this person got completely terminated out of Roblox for a false DMCA strike. Pretty awesome, pretty cool, Roblox. I thought they fixed this problem, but I guess they didn't. Either way, we can now move on to some more positive stuff that's happening on Roblox with the main thing. That happened today, 
being Roblox announcing something that's going to be going on for the whole week starting today, where they're going to be re-releasing or releasing brand new versions I think of classic Roblox items. As you can see from this tweet right here, Roblox tweeted themselves, Each day for the next week, we will be bringing back one classic item for 24 hours only, starting now with the Blue Steel Antlers, with a link to the Blue Steel Antlers, and a cool little graphic that shows them off. Everybody is so hyped about this because, basically if you don't know, Roblox for the longest time would do Black Friday sales where every Black Friday, they would put on sale a bunch of cool random Roblox items. Most of them were not really themed, but they were like re-releases every Black Friday like the big head. Those kinds of items would come around every single Black Friday, but for the past, I think, two or three years, Roblox hasn't really done anything like that. They've done some stuff but they've never really hosted these big sale events for the past three to four years I'm pretty sure. But it seems like today, that's all changing. As they just announced they're going to be releasing a brand new classic item every single day for the next week. The first one is the Blue Steel Antlers, which, as you can see, I already purchased. Now if you're curious about how much these cost, because it doesn't really just show the price, I bought it already, it's 22,000 Robux. Most people probably don't want to buy this, and you probably shouldn't because there's no guarantee that it's going to go limited. I mean, I imagine it will because I think most antlers have gone limited so far, right? So, I do imagine these could go limited in the future, but, again, there's no guarantee and they're also 22,000 Robux. Not the best start to this sale, but also, I think Black Friday sales have always kind of had the really expensive items, then they've had the more reasonably priced items as well. Now, they didn't really announce anything that's going to happen on Black Friday specifically, like, I don't know if they're going to actually release a bunch of items on Black Friday or not, or if they're just going to do one item every day like they say here, but I truly do hope that they do the one item a day thing and also have a big sale on Black Friday. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd make the most sense, but again, that's not guaranteed. We don't know yet. Another thing that's also pretty interesting is that we saw the Platinum Domino Crown get uploaded onto Roblox not that long ago, and I just wonder if this has something to do with it. Because if it does, that's pretty cool. I did say in my video initially about the Platinum Crown that I hope it is for some sort of event and not just a bonus Roblox item, and it seems like that could be happening. Dude, I'm not gonna get my hopes too high because Roblox is usually a bit silly, but yeah, perchance we could be seeing the Platinum Crown be a special item given out during Black Friday, which is pretty cool or sold during Black Friday either way. Now we can move on to the next story, which is even crazier for some people. Because now Roblox has officially started raising the amount of friends you can have for more people. Because before it was only certain admins had access. But now it seems like certain countries are getting access to having more friends on their friends list. With Bloxy tweeting out this, the amount of friends you can have on Roblox has officially increased to 250. This limit will slowly increase to 1000 into 2025. Now they then follow up in a reply saying that this increased friend limit is currently only being tested in South American countries, with a full rollout being expected soon which is so freaking cool dude. But now for the last story, unless something else happens. Uh, is this basically a new item was uploaded to Roblox that is called the Developer Pumpkin of the Manor? Now when I first saw this I thought this was fake, but no, it apparently is actually real and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool to be honest, but sadly, it's only going to be given to developers that helped with the haunt. Now I guess it's not really a sad thing, but it is sad for the reason that I can't get it guys, uh, cause this item is actually pretty cool. It's like a throwback to the, uh, the Ghostiri hat, I'm pretty sure, and it's like cut in half and it doesn't have the horns, but man, it's pretty cool. But yeah, reading the description it says, talented and mysterious, they haunt the manor. This item was granted to the talented group of participating developers who made the haunt possible, which, uh, is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. It's sad. It's sad that I can't get it myself, cause that hat is really cool.